Украина и все народа. Вопрос, где эта экономия? Чьи карманы она осидает? This is Clifford Levy, Moscow bureau chief of the New York Times. In today's Russia, people can speak out against the government. Pyotr Lopatov is editor of a local opposition newspaper. Like many independent journalists in Russia, he both writes and takes part in political activities. But just because freedom of speech is legal, that doesn't mean it is always tolerated. As Lopatov was leaving a rally in the city of Klin last year that had been called to protest government corruption and rising utility prices, undercover police attacked him. It was all caught on video. The beating, which left Lopatov with a concussion and other injuries, was part of a wave of unsolved attacks and official harassment in the Moscow suburbs against journalists. These are independent journalists who criticize the regional leaders of Vladimir Putin's ruling party. These attacks are stark symbols of a culture of impunity in Russia. Two decades after the Soviet collapse, Russia's future is endangered by its failure to establish a real rule of law. Even Russia's president, Dmitry Medvedev, acknowledges this. Потому что в России, я об этом неоднократно говорил, силен правовой нигилизм, то есть неуважение к праву. Это, к сожалению, одна из наших родовых черт. But he and Putin have brought about little in the way of significant change. The arbitrary enforcement of laws continues to benefit those in power. And here, in the Moscow suburbs, journalists are targets. In November 2008, Mikhail Bekatov, editor of a muckraking newspaper, was nearly killed in an attack that left him with severe brain damage and a leg and three fingers amputated. No arrests have been made. Three months later, a newspaper editor named Yuri Grachov was found near his home with a broken nose and a concussion. His assailants stole documents related to his reporting, but not his wallet or cell phone. The culprits escaped punishment. In October 2009, another reporter, Andrei Khmalevsky, was beaten, also unsolved. In most cases, it is not clear who is behind the attacks or whether they are related. But one thing links them all. No one is held responsible. The attack on Pyotr Lopatov was different in one respect. The police were quickly identified as having carried it out. But the result was the same. No charges. Прокуратура, но мы видим, как прокуратура сегодня расследует дело о избиении журналиста независимого. Никак не расследует. According to Lopatov, after the attack, two police officers visited him in the hospital and tried to pressure him into signing false testimony, saying he provoked the beating. He refused. The police then released a statement claiming that Lopatov, quote, found himself in the middle of a reactionary crowd, was pushed and fell to the ground. His ordeal did not end there. Prosecutors are bringing a criminal extremism case against him for publishing articles that embarrassed the local government. They raided his office, seized his computers, and now he could face jail time. Это достаточно серьезно, поскольку здесь мы столкнулись с неправильной позицией журналистов относительно обстоятельств и жизни, которые складываются в районе. Yulia Zhukova is a spokeswoman for the Prosecutor General's office that is investigating Lopatov. She denied that journalists face difficulties in the Moscow region. То у нас нет оснований говорить о какой-либо ненормальной, плохой обстановке для работы журналистов. But one day after my interview with the spokeswoman, investigators from her agency stepped up their harassment of Lopatov. They picked him up and later interrogated him about the police beating. Lopatov clandestinely recorded it. Мой допрос подводился к тому, чтобы оправдать действия милиционеров. Lopatov says the interrogation lasted more than six hours. 
Five weeks later, in a telephone interview with the New York Times, Zhukova denied that the interrogation had ever happened. But Lopatov provided me with official government records documenting that the interrogation had taken place. When I presented Zhukova with this evidence, she backtracked. For now, Lopatov is under intense legal pressure. Fearing for his safety, he has left his newspaper, which is struggling to survive.